Well, down here in the old dry foxtail bee yard, looks green over there, but man, I hate this dryness. I need to get the bees out of here and burn it, and get some cover crop planted, put on here so it put some sweet clover and stuff, some Dutch clover, get it, put it in here and see if I can kind of fix this up a little bit. But anyways, gonna do some mite washes today. Gonna check my mites. Um, don't know if I'm gonna check every single colony, but I'm gonna hit at least one or two on each pallet. Just kind of get a ballpark idea what it's looking like. And there's been a little bit of a flow coming in. There's some alfalfa that's starting to bloom here and there. Um, seems like there's a pretty good flight right here going on. So I think there's a little bit of source coming in. Um, wish we could get a little bit of rain or something. It's, it's hot and dry and we could use some moisture, but let's get some alcohol wash. Not alcohol, I'm actually gonna use Dawn dish soap. That's what I like to use. It smells nice. Doesn't, it seems to work just as good. Got the idea from Greg. And yeah, so let's do some, let's do some mite washes today. This is what I like to use for my mite wash. Just got some Dawn just soap and some water mixed in there. I use this one. I have the yellow one. And it works just as good. It's just, it's fine. It's whatever one I grab is which one I usually use. Um, I like to have this container. I take this. This is what I shake my bees into. And then I don't have a measuring cup. I just kind of eyeball my, I just kind of scoop them out of there and yeah, go from there. I used to have a measuring cup. Maybe I can use this one. Yeah, I'll use that for a measuring cup for this round and dump them in there. And yeah, let's see what the mites are looking like. Hopefully they're low. Oh man, they're pulling this much. Kind of a bummer. Be a little heavier by now. <laughs> eggs in that one. I got a little bit of a flow because there's some new white wax on here. This was pretty sure this was some frames that needed to be a little drawn out. Man, that's mostly nectar. In these frames, I wonder if I need to uh, refine them down a little bit. After there, this is a big old fat frame, got quite a bit of honey on it. Brood that's just getting capped, so I think we're gonna go here with this first frame that I pulled out. Um, make sure the queen's not on here. see her. I uh, use this as my catch pan. Let's drop that down so you can see here. Once I do it one to show you I'm gonna just shut the camera off and roll with it but quick look for the queen again see her let the foragers fly off for just a second get another good look for the queen mm -hmm. 
don't sear. Pretty good scoop of bees there. And we go to shaking. So, this will be our first wash here. Shake it off, shake it off, roll up. I think Taylor Swift every time I sit here and shake this forever. All right, now that I've shook this pretty good, as I shake it again, I'm gonna let it sit there for just a second and kind of settle. Um, meanwhile, while I do that, I'm going to break into this colony here and get the next set ready. Okay, got that frame picked out ready. We're gonna go ahead and look at this real quick. See what I'm looking like. Kind of hard to hold the camera and look here, but I'm not seeing anything on that wash. I'm gonna count that as a zero. I know there's still, I know there's mites. Like I know it's not a true zero, but see there's something right there. No, that's just a little piece of wax or something. So good, let's see what, uh, see what this next box here is gonna bring us this next colony I'm gonna dump these bees out right here I kind of want to get a little bit of a count on that one I'll come back and just ballpark ballpark count make sure I don't see anything else I I don't I don't see any mites in that so I'm gonna just keep that one as is not dump it out. Usually if there's mites in there I'll dump it and shake it out. This is the frame I'm gonna pick. It's got a lot of brood that's just getting capped. A lot of hatching over here so this is a good frame I think. I don't see the queen. Just give her a little shake there. This closed up. Oh, these guys are pulling in some honey, so that's good. That box is pretty heavy. Got them here. I'll put this stuff like that. Okay, there should be nothing there to fill a cup. Hurry and get a look about for the queen. Don't see her. Yeah, that's pretty good. And start the process again. But find a good brood frame. Make sure the queen's not on there. Give it a good shake for a little while and and check your mites. Bees need three things to survive. They need to stay dry, they need to have food, and they need to be healthy. And this is no different than having cattle. Make sure you keep your livestock healthy you've got to do checks you've got to keep these in mind they're not bugs that are just 100 percent sustaining on their own that's why a lot of the wild bees or the feral bees or whatever you want to call it are failing because of the varroa mite so it's our job as beekeepers to not just have bees but to actually keep them and be a keeper to the bees and to care for them and to treat them like livestock that's what they are they are livestock you wouldn't put you wouldn't put a herd of cattle out in a pasture and then just totally neglect them and leave them till the end of the summer you would check them you'd watch them you'd maintain you'd make sure there was fresh grass you'd make sure that they weren't running out of feed you'd make sure they had fresh water beekeeping is no different than livestock any type of livestock a horse even or chickens it's the same thing so keep your animals healthy Keep your livestock healthy. Do your best to keep them and not just have them. There's bee havers and there's bee keepers. You know, 
who you are if you're one of them. I'm not saying that you can't, I'm not gonna, well, I'm not gonna go there, but more than likely you need to take care of your bees. More than likely you need to treat for varroa mite because they're around. If you're around anybody else that has bees, chances are you've got varroa, there's varroa around. So make sure your bees are healthy. Do the treatments, take them seriously. And because when, when the neighboring beekeeper doesn't take care of his varroa mites and the other keeper that works so hard to keep varroa out and they go and rob his and then brings varroa, just do each other a favor as beekeepers and let's work on this together and, and keep your colonies happy and healthy. Treat them like livestock. I had a queen not terribly long ago. There's a lot of brood in there, so hopefully they'll just re clean. Them. Keep on keeping on. Okay, this colony here, I've got a mite count there. You can see them kind of at the bottom, maybe one, two, three, four, five. Little brown dots. I can't really hold this and get it to focus here. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys what these mites look like. I can't tell on my camera what's going on. <laughs> Anyways, little brown dots there. So, so far this is the first one that's washed some mites. See them floating around there at the bottom. Which is funny because this is my strongest colony. They are the ones that are producing so far the most honey. Um, that box is chucked full. It's a deep and they're working on this second. Um, so yeah, they've got a little bit of mite counts. I'm gonna actually count these bees and see what they are for the five that I got there because I wanna know a little bit better percentage. I didn't quite get as many in there this time. So that's kind of a bad thing because I think my phone's overheating. Yep, it's telling me I need to shut my phone off. So to be continued. It's kind of late. Um, I didn't get around to making the rest of that video, but I'm gonna do it now Just kind of give you a little rundown of what happened. Uh, so I did all my white washes I had two that were side by side by each other one had a five mite count and the other one had a four mite count And then I had one or two that had one but for the most part I was rolling zeros but they still You know, they obviously still I have to treat them like they have mites and I will Probably not put anything right away, but I'm going to get some more of those oxalic acid sponges and I'm going to get them put in there here in the next, I don't know, a little while. But everything was looking really good. Mites all looked, my mite counts were low. Bees were actually pulling in some little bit of nectar. They're brooding up pretty decent. They're a little bit behind schedule, but hopefully, hopefully they'll brood up and hopefully everything will go well. So that's how, that's how the end of the mites turned out after my phone overheated so thanks for watching like subscribe and catch you next time